guys and welcome back to my weight loss journey update. If you're new to the channel, I'm Tiff. Um, I'm usually accompanied by my beautiful pregnant wife, Carrie, but this is my day for my video for my journey, so she's not here right now. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and slap a like on the video if you like it, of course. And if you like what you see, maybe check out some other videos, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click that bell for notifications because YouTube is always changing things and lately they have not been telling our campers, um, you might know them as subscribers, but we call them campers, that we've posted a new video. So anyway, I have been on a weight loss journey for, um, well, I mean, I'd like to say my whole life, but um, it's been off and on uh, for the past, I guess, maybe eight or nine months. I feel like that might change every week because... I honestly feel like I have been on this my whole life, but it's been um, a really big journey for me, uh, especially the past couple of months, when I actually started noticing that I was losing weight, that what I was doing was working. So I believe this is the fourth video um, in this series. The first video I was kind of explaining why, um, like what was going on. In the second video, I think I gave like an overview um, again. Uh, in the third video, I talked about foods that I ate. So that last video um, is pretty important. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about exercises that I've been doing and what I've been doing to get my heart rate up and things of that nature. So first, I'm going to start off with parking. Parking has been a huge thing for me because before I started this journey, I literally probably would... Um, you know, wait until a parking spot opened up uh, that was really close to wherever I was going. And by wait, I mean I would circle the parking lot for probably 10 minutes and then I would continue to keep circling it and continue to keep circling it until I found a spot. Now, sometimes I do circle, I'm not gonna lie, it's not perfect. Sometimes I do circle um, a couple times still, but eventually I realize, hey, I'm either going to get this spot that's going to be really close to the door or I'm going to park, you know, maybe five spots back. Like, what is five spots really? Like, that's kind of the mentality I had to have. Like, what am I saving? You know, it wasn't about wasting gas driving around a bunch of times. It was literally about what are these five spots? Like, what, what, am, I, what am I doing? You know, so I realized I was kind of like, hey. It's just five spots. You know, let's park, let's get inside, take your time walking in, and just get going in there. So that's one thing that I've done. I've changed my mentality on parking. Sure, I still don't park super far away all the time, but I definitely don't park as close as I used to anymore. Um, and I'm okay if I have to park at the end of the parking lot to, uh, you know, walk into where I'm going. All right, number two, this is something that I do a couple of times a week now, and it was something I would never, ever do before. I take the stairs. I'm going to let that sink in a little bit because I sometimes, I got to be honest with you, I sometimes can't believe it. I take the stairs. I literally park um, where I go to school. The school is kind of on a hill. So at one entrance down here is where we'd end up parking because it goes like this. There's stairs, uh, two flights of stairs. I believe there's nine or ten stairs per flight. And I will park over by the door where the stairs are. And I will take the stairs. And I'm out of breath, sure. And sometimes I wait at the little landing in between, uh, you know, both sets. But you know what? I still do it. I still park over there and I still purposely take the stairs. And you know what's funny about it is I think it's actually faster for me to take the stairs than to park way over to not take, you know, the stairs. You know, to find a parking spot, to walk all through the parking lot, to walk up to the door and all the way down the hall. But you know what? It's better for me to take the stairs because it definitely gets my cardio going. And that's what's important in weight loss is building that cardio so your heart's pumping a little bit more and it's burning some calories. All right, so another thing I do is I make more than one trip. I used to try to grab everything I could from A to B and literally put everything all in my arms 
you know, like like for dinner sometimes, I would take, I'm looking over at Carrie because she's here, but she just doesn't want to be in the video. You could say hi. There she is. Hi. Look at my I'm beautiful so baby. So anyway, I used to try and get everything I had to get. You know, we'd go out to the car and I would have my keys, uh, my phone, my water bottle, all the garbage that we were taking out, the bags, wherever we were taking them, anything that we were taking. I mean, I would be so overloaded with everything because the idea of making more than one trip, um, walking up those four steps, you know, to come back into the house and to go back down, it was literally hell for me. Like, I did not want to do that. Like, under no circumstances did I want to, you know, make those trips. I didn't. And now, it's okay if I have to make more than one trip. It's okay if I don't overload my body. And you know what? I'm actually not as out of breath because before, when I was carrying all that stuff, I was so out of breath by the time I got to where I was going because my body was, like, carrying an extra 100 pounds with me. I know that's a lot, but really think about it though. If you're taking out garbage and boxes and I mean, if you have your phone, your water bottle, I mean, this water bottle is pretty heavy. You know I mean? It can get up to probably as much as a gallon of milk or really close to that when it's full, when it has a bunch of ice in it. Plus, I mean, the bottle's heavy itself, mm -hmm. you know, anyway. So taking all that stuff with me, you know, all the time is really overloading the system. Um, so, those, you know, a couple of things, three things I think there were, those were huge, but I realized that that was only going to take me so far. Unfortunately, I needed to exercise, which I got to tell you, that was very scary for me because exercising always made me, you know, get out of breath. I mean, when I would get on these journeys before, I would run out of breath my my heart would start racing. Wow, my, my heart rate's really high. Am I going to be okay? Am I going to come back from this? You know, I'd ride the bike and I'd be really nervous, like riding my actual bike, the bike that leaves the house. You know, if, if I ride too far away, what happens if I, you know, stop breathing or something or I can't catch my breath? I'm going to be way too far away from home. No one's going to know where I am. I mean, I had all these like horrible thoughts in my mind, you know, um, wondering if I was going to be okay. Well, I realized I got to start pushing myself little bits at a time. So I did start using the exercise bike. Um, I did start using a rowing machine. But now with us expanding our family, we had to move that stuff. It's sad, but we had to. But I realized that once that stuff was gone, I had to find something else. So I did. I was watching TV once and I saw this contraption. And I was like... Is that really going to work? So then I started watching all these videos and I'm like, wow, it's working and it looks fun. So I ended up buying it. And here it is, folks. It is called the Simply Fit Board. Do you see how thin that is? You literally put your feet, it's got these little grips on it. You put one foot here, one foot here, and you slide back and forth. Look at that. You just do this. You move yourself back and forth. Now, I'm not going to have a demonstration today. Um, because shorts. I am wearing cream colored shorts and it's not important for me to have a demonstration today. What's important is for me to talk to you about it. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but this little piece of equipment that fits in between uh, next to our TV that you can't even see it once it's over there. This thing actually works for me. Um, it holds up to 400 pounds. So great. I obviously made the cut on that one. But we also know that 400 pounds is not the cutoff because if you know how things work like that, I and I, I'm not privy to all the information from Simply Fit, but I'm willing to bet that this thing would hold 450 pounds no problem because what happens is out of 100 people, maybe somebody who weighed more than 400 pounds, it cracked on them, but it didn't crack on the other people. So... Um, again, I can't recommend that you get it if you're over 400 pounds, but I know that when I use it, there's no bending or anything like that. Um, so it, it feels, uh, like it's fine for me. Um, Carrie laughs at me when I use it. Um, not a funny, like, ha ha ha, I'm making fun of you, but I look like I'm really getting into it. So she laughs at me because I'm like, you know, like having some fun. Um, I would not attribute this thing to 100% of my success, 
but I would probably give it a high 50. Uh, the board is uh, $29, I believe you can get it. There's different colors, so you might be able to find some of the other colors cheaper. Um, this isn't the only exercise I do, but for this video, and you know, I, I'll talk about something else in the next video, but for this video, this is the important product because this product did change the way that I, it changed the way that I exercise because I can take this with me when we go places. Uh, if we were to go like on vacation, which I know a lot of people say they're not going to exercise, but if I wanted to, this could fit, we could take this. It could fit in a suitcase. I mean, it would take up a lot of room just because, um, you know, of the way that it's shaped, but you could bury things underneath it, you know, and I kind of realized that doing these other little steps was only going to get me so far. Exercise is important. You know, um, your mind, getting your mind ready for making a change is important, but alone, these things are not enough. So I realized I had to do more. I, I, I needed to up my game and the Simply Fit board did that for me. So I'm really thankful that I came across it. I don't know how that I did. Um, again, there's a lot of videos on YouTube if you want to check it out for yourself. So a lot of people ask me, you know, um, is this attributing to my success? And I would say yes, all of these things together. Um, so in conclusion, I know this was kind of a shorter video, but the point isn't really for you to watch these videos and just keep watching the video. The point is for you to get inspired so you can get on your journey. I think I've given you a lot of information in today's video. You know, these are four like integral steps that have really worked for me. And putting these four together have been paramount into where I am. I mean, I'm down about 40 pounds and that's a big deal for me. And I think this is the biggest success I've ever had, you know, on a weight loss journey before. Because believe me, you know, we've talked about this before with the whole day one stuff. There have been many, many, many day ones for me. You know, I've started over, I've given up, I've gotten sick and I didn't feel like it. Life got in the way, school got in the way, work got in the way, family got in the way. There's always something that would get in the way for me, but I never gave up. I kept going back to it. And I find these little tools of success and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but they're worth a shot for me. Like for the Simply Fit board, it was worth it for me to, to spend the $30 to try it because I had seen so many other people's success stories. It's worth it for me to have something here at the house that I could put away, you know, that wasn't like this huge contraption that worked on cardio versus like me lifting weights and working on something else that I didn't need to work on because I want to be able to go walk for a mile. If we do get a dog, I want to be able to take a dog for a walk and not have to take a break, you know, every 20 feet on a bench or something like that. Like my goal for this weight loss journey is to build my cardio and by getting products and by doing things that help me build that cardio, that's going to make me feel like a success. So as always, please share your stories. Um, know that if you're new here, we are in a group on Facebook. One of our campers, Eileen, she started it, the page for us. It's called Eileen's Accountability Squad. I usually try to put the link in there, but sometimes I do forget there's going to be another camper who probably has the link for you. It is a closed group. Everyone shares stuff. They feel comfortable in there. I share stuff. Carrie shares stuff. Some of our own, our friends in real life are even in that group and they share stuff. You know, it's a good group, a, a good support system. And that's the last thing I'll say. You need a support system other than yourself to do this. Now, I know that that's kind of contradictory to someone who might be alone or, you know, lives alone, isn't with someone. But you can find online groups. They're out there. And I'm sure Eileen's Accountability Squad isn't the only one, but that's the one that works for me. That's the one that I know for sure that I belong to, that no one has ever said anything bad in that group, and they're nothing but supportive. So find yourself a good group. Um, come check out our squad for a while and see if it's for you. Um, just do little things uh, that change your lifestyle and change your mindset. That's what I did. It's working for me. But keep in mind that this is my journey. 
Maybe my journey doesn't work for you, but maybe there are aspects of my journey that will work for you. So I'm rooting for you. I know Carrie's rooting for you. And if you join Eileen's Accountability Squad, 200 plus people are also going to be rooting for you. So keep that in mind. And remember, guys, we love you. And we're so thankful for everything that you guys do. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the flippity.